Today I'm going to be reviewing a Serbian film. I think that it's shock value done right. A Serbian film is a 2010 film and has some pretty interesting history behind it. It's been banned in Spain, Brazil, Australia, New Zealand, and South Korea because of its graphic depictions of sexual violence. The creator of the film says that Government-enforced censorship in Siberia is non-existent and was not the driving force behind the making of a Serbian film. Quote, In Serbia, we do not have ratings. There was no law forbidding anything from being shown in a film, and there was no law forbidding anyone from buying a ticket. The creator of the film states, This is a diary of our own molestation by the Serbian government, as its reasons for its depictions. So let's talk about the, the film's contents. The film's synopsis is an aging porn star who's struggling to provide for his family agrees to make a film that, unbeknownst to him, contains themes of pedophilia, necrophilia, and may end with his death. So, kind of kind of a messed up movie plot. This film is not for the weak-hearted and... It it shows everything with little to no hesitation. Um, I'm not going to talk about the film and spoil it because I think it's a really interesting piece of film and history. And if you just want to hear a review of like everything, then you can go watch someone else's videos. I'm sure I can find some more reviews in the link in the description. Um, but let's get into my review. <laughs> um, so what I think makes the film good, it's, it's hard to get through, but I think that it's shot and directed super well. All of the scenes in the film have great lighting, it's not bright or too dark, um, and it still maintains that atmosphere that creates suspense, which you don't see in a lot of new horror movies. It's not even supposed to be a horror movie, I believe. It's more of a disturbing thriller. So, or well, like, you, you could call it torture porn in that category of like films, but I wouldn't call it like a horror movie. If you're out there looking for something like that, you might be disappointed. Um, I also want to talk about the camera angles. I thought they were really different compared to some other films that I saw, and I just kind of wanted to point that out. Um, let's talk about the characters. I think the main character is perfectly casted. He's played with so much emotions, and it feels all too real. Like, when he has to make a difficult decision, you can tell how much it weighs on him, and you can tell how much he cares about, he cares about his wife and kids. It's... It's not something that you can see in all films. This man played the film perfectly, and he 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 knew how to do it. So, I'm not gonna pretend like I can pronounce his name because they're all Serbian names, and I can't pronounce those. But, um, yeah, I'm looking at that name right now. I'll put it on screen for you, but. How's that pronounced? I'm not even gonna try to attempt that, but um, let's talk about the music. Um, nah, I wasn't crazy about it. Like, I've seen some soundtracks that sound really good in this film. It was okay. I didn't. I thought it was kind of off compared to what was going on. Um, but it's not enough to, like, take you out of the film, and it still does a great job at conveying emotion or atmosphere. So, why do I think it's shock value done right? Um, the gore, although very much excessive, I find almost in good taste. It's only used when needed, although it's needed a lot, but it's only there to progress the story. And the effects do look really real, and they, they look authentic. So, it's it's not bad. Uh, the sex is pretty f excessive. It's the main plot of the movie, so if you disliked forest 
if you catch my drift, there should definitely be a film to skip. I'm not going to talk about it too much because it, it's like the main part of the film, so... Um, but kind of like the main point is each time the main character is forced to perform and he's put in situations which make it difficult to perform if you catch my drift. Um, that's really all I have to say about it. It's if you're interested in being traumatized or just want to watch a disturbing flick. Yeah. Um, it's pretty disturbing. I'd rate it 7 out of 10 for like movie quality wise but for disturbing I'd put it at like an 8 seems like a fail an 8